I'm Charlie Bright of Gold Derby, and I'm uh, hosting the this uh, panel for cinematographers on television. And I'm talking with Antonio Calvacci, the cinematographer for Queen Sugar on OWN. Um, the uh, the uh, outside areas that you shoot in, that that you shoot for this are absolutely beautiful. And I was wondering what your reaction was when you first encountered the exteriors that you would regularly be shooting in. Um, yes, that was one of the most memorable experiences when I started on Queen Sugar um, uh, six seasons ago. Um, I, it, it's a long time ago now, but I remember very well. Um, Eva Duvernay called me to come in and scout these locations uh, right away. Uh, I think what uh, uh, you are referring to is the sugarcane farm where the borderlands have start all the story. And it's, it's a special, um, it's, um, it's a gift to be able to work in a project where the location has so much personality. And of course, me as a cinematographer immediately is recognizing the uh, challenges of the location, which angles, where's the sound, which uh, uh, angles favor the story, what we want to see, what we don't want to see. But it was a big, uh, and it is still a big source of inspiration for for me and for everybody in the team of Queen Sugar to, to bring up that, um, the look of this farm and the lushness and uh, the history behind the, all of that you can feel when you are there and we try to capture. So, uh, you know, one of the interesting uh, things that we've seen over the run of the show is, um, uh, the growth of a character like Blue, played by Ethan Hutchinson. Ethan Hutchison. And I was uh, wondering what has it been like to film this character as he's grown over the years into the character that he is today? It, it is very touching. It's, um, I don't know how to describe it, but my connection to the uh, characters and to the cast is special. Um, I, this is my first TV series. Um, uh, before this, I only shot uh, feature films. So the fact that I go back every year uh, working with the same uh, cast, uh, working with the same characters, it, it, it gives me a sense of um, familiarity, of closeness that is totally new to me in my professional uh, career. So, Yes, definitely all of them um, I feel very strongly about, of all of them, the relationship between Blue and Rothangel is um, where I feel more touched and somehow where I feel more inspired visually um, because it's such a strong connection. Having seen Blue grow up so much is, is, is really touching. I, I, always remember um, the movie Boyhood, um, the impact it had on me as, a, as an audience. To, it was so, it was the first time I got to see the progress of a child in, into uh, boyhood, into adulthood and witness it. And this is very similar to me. It's not happening in one movie, it's happening in a TV series, but to see him grow uh, to become um, a young man, it's, it's, it's something very touching and it fits a lot of my inspiration and, and excitement about working in this, in this project. It's, it's really every season is like to go back to my second home and to my second family. And, Blue, wow. he has grown up quite a bit. I still remember the first season. He was just a, a little boy and now he is full of adult thoughts and reasoning and he faces a new set of challenges. Um, I look forward to seventh season to see what he's up to. 
So um, uh, I know you had originally started off, uh, you, you've been with the project since the beginning, but um, uh, you've had uh, 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 another person has uh, joined you uh, at, to split the duties as uh, DP Kira Kelly, that's correct? Uh, well, Kira, Kira, Kira she uh, shot three seasons, two, three, and four. Um, and now we have a uh, Bruce Francis Cole, uh, which uh, has shot the last uh, two seasons as alternate uh, DP. What has the collaboration process been been like with those other uh, cinematographers in sort of building what you want each season to look like? Uh, it's 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 pretty straightforward. I, I mean, um, I was there from the beginning. Um, Eva Duvernay and I established the look of the series. We have been refining it as we go, um, but pretty much the um, alternate DP um, kind of absorbs uh, the look of the series and and uh, try to um, adapt as closely as possible to what we have uh, already established from previous years. Having said that, every season, sure, there is a, a bit of refinement and step forward in the look of it. And, and we we work about it. It's 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 just great to have a, another DP in the team. It, for us cinematographers, it's it's something. It it gives you a lot of support, and we can exchange ideas. We can exchange um, trouble. We can we might be having with a location or, or challenges we share with each other. Um, it's a pretty uh, productive, easy relationship um, where we just uh, help each other. Um, you mentioned uh, when I was talking about uh, the uh, exteriors and the sugarcane fields that there were uh, some natural uh, challenges uh, to that environment and uh, trying to figure out how to shoot shoot there. What were some of those challenges? Uh, many. Um... Well, first of all, um, we wanted to create a sense of isolation in Ralph Angel's house. Um, in reality, there are quite a few buildings around that house, uh, but you never see them in the TV series. So we try to, we need to stick to the camera angles where uh, we look into the field, we look into the farm. We don't see too much of other buildings and houses that are around it. Um, of course, the position of the sun at different times of the day, controlling the sun, a lot of the look of Queen Sugar is based on soft lighting. Um, it's, it's soft lighting in the exterior, soft lighting in the interiors and uh, night interiors. It's, uh, it's just part of the uh, look of the film. It's, um, it was something I tried from the beginning, just to capture the beauty of the uh, color schemes, um, capturing the skin tones of uh, my beautiful cast. Um, so that means uh, bringing cranes with silks and fly swatters and figure out what time of the day we want to be shooting what. And lastly, in Louisiana, the biggest challenge is the weather. Um, so, how to deal with the weather, um, changing weather, uh, how to give consistency in, in the shots when the sky is not consistent. Um, that would be one of the main challenges, as well as after it rains, it becomes quite impractical uh, to bring heavy equipment. So, we need to adapt a lot. To, to the weather and it's just such a challenge as we go through the season into spring and summer is um, it's a big challenge but we have managed uh, every year we, we have been so far lucky we have had very few down times where we couldn't really shoot but yes we have had a few situations where we just need to shut down electricity because we have 
uh, a storm and we just have to figure out a way to shoot without lights and, and just inside the house, just with whatever light comes through the window. And it's, it's the nature of working in Louisiana. Well, Antonio, thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you on our panel in just a little bit. Okay, thank you.